Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday held bilateral discussion with African leaders in the Indian capital New Delhi in order to boost trade ties. The meetings were held on the sidelines of the ongoing third India-Africa Forum Summit. The African leaders held one-on-one -on -one discussion with the Indian Prime Minister in an effort to augment trade and commerce and further diplomatic and political links with India. PM Modi held talks with President of the Republic of Ghana, H.E. John Mahama, President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, King of Swaziland, His Majesty King Swati III, Benin's President Dr. Boni Ye, Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari and Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta in the morning session. The Prime Minister is scheduled to meet 20 leaders from various African countries who have gathered in India to attend the third India-Africa Forum Summit in the next two days. Diplomats from 54 African countries are in the Indian capital to attend the four-day summit. Meanwhile, Indian Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj addressed the inaugural ceremony of the India-Africa Business Forum, where business associations of India and Africa engaged in deliberations to boost business links. Trade and economic exchanges between India and Africa are a vital component of our all-round relationship with the rising continent. A total trade figure of about 72 billion US dollars in 2014-15 seems impressive since it signifies more than a tenfold growth in a decade. However, it is still well below its potential. The India-Africa summit is aimed at improving cooperation between the two sides in various sectors. The trade ties between India and Africa have seen an increase in the recent years. India mainly imports raw materials such as crude oil, gold, raw cotton and precious stones from Africa, while the latter imports high-end consumer goods such as automobiles, pharmaceuticals and telecom equipments. India is also in talks with South Africa to buy coal mines producing up to 90 million tonnes of coking coal each year to feed its growing steel industry.